Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. The double honest to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, call all Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai, by Hashim Rechah Kodash. And I shall want to elect. All right. Um, the name of this video is going to be called um, The Elect, or, yeah, yeah, basically The Elect were chosen before the foundations of the world, okay? Uh, I'm just going to go straight into it. This is Jeremiah chapter 1, all right, verse 5. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, right? And that word, the word sanctified means to be cleansed, all right? Because Jeremiah, before he would enter into his mother's womb, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai ordained him, okay? It says, and I ordained thee, a prophet unto the nations. That's right. Because those are special spirits. The prophets are special spirits. The prophets are the same spirits that were chosen before the foundation of the world. Okay? So, next scripture I want to go into is uh, Psalms 22, uh, verse, verse 9. What thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didn't make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast, right? Because as a child, you know, you don't know right from wrong, okay? Here it is, the scripture is saying that what? It says, thou didn't make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. That's right. When he was a suckling child. This is King David speaking. When he was a suckling child, most high, Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, I was with him, okay? I was cast upon thee from the womb, Right? Thou art my power from my mother's belly. So it's the same thing that was iterated to Jeremiah being sanctified or ordained from his mother's belly. Okay? Like when Samuel, the prophet, and the priest, the high priest, he went to go uh, sanctify or ordain Jesse's sons to be king. However, he didn't know it was going to be David, but the Most High knew it was going to be David. Okay? That's why he told them that no, not him. No, not him. They lined all of David, Jesse's sons up, and, and the Most High kept telling them, no, not him, not him, not him, because it was already ordained. Okay? Next scripture I want to get, this is Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. It says, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy, meaning separate, and without blame, right? That means sanctified, meaning cleansed, right? Before him in love. He predestinated us, okay? Predestination, all right? The elect, again, was chosen and predestinated before the foundation of the world. It says, uh, unto the adoption of the children of Hamashiach, Yahushai, right? Because the Most High knew we would go off. Okay, the most I knew we would go off, so he knew he was going to have to send his son, all right, for us to be adopted back unto him. Okay, continuing on, it says, Adoption of the children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Okay, and that's what's going on. We're fulfilling the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Go to my next scripture. Or oh, matter of fact, let's go to the Apocrypha. All right. This is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 24. Well, first off, let me say this, because I want to point out two things. The scripture did the first, I'm going to read the first verse first. It says, wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the congregation of the Most High, she shall open her mouth. And triumph before his power. Who's that congregation? The congregation is the flock, the men of the Lord. Okay? The prophets. And before the earth was formed, those prophets were ordained. And what were they ordained with? That wisdom. Okay? And I'm going to further prove it again. All right? It says, I dwell in high places and my throne is in the a cloudy pillar. Still making reference to wisdom, but wisdom, but, but wisdom 
dwells within men as well. Man. All right, you have men on earth with that same wisdom that was before the foundations of the earth. Why? Because they were there when the foundations of the earth were formed. Okay? I'm going to jump down verse 8. So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me cause my tabernacle to rest. And he said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob and, and, and thy inheritance in Israel. Again, this is talking about that wisdom. Matter of fact, when you go to Deuteronomy 4, 6 chapter, it says, the law was given to be our wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations. Okay? Continuing on, it says, verse 9, this is the point. He created me from the beginning before the world, and I shall never fail. That's right. So if your name was written in the book of life, all right, if you were back then during that time before the earth was formed, then you will never fail. Okay? All right? And that's the point on that. Now, what I'm going to do is, okay, let me go to, this is Proverbs chapter 8. I'm going to start. Matter of fact, let me get verse 1 first, just to prove, because this goes hand in hand with Sirach, the 24th chapter. Hand in hand, man. All right? It says, do if not wisdom cry, and she and utter and utter, and understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top, the top of high places by the way in the places of the path. That's right. And that's what the scripture says in Sirach, the 24th chapter. It says, I dwell in high places, and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. All right, going back. Now, she crieth at the gate, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Right, that's why you have those same spirits that are back here on earth today preaching and prophesying and bringing forth that wisdom on the streets. All right, because they were ordained to do so, just like Jeremiah, just like David. Okay? So I'm going to jump down. And as you read this, it, it goes into wisdom, just like Sirach the 24th chapter. It goes all into the wisdom. All right? Now check this out. I'm going to read it. I'm going to probably close off on this. It's, no, 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 no. I got one more after this. It says, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before, the work, before his works of old. You see? Now this is Solomon speaking in the spirit. Why? Because this also proves that Solomon is Yahweh Shai as well. Okay, and another note, this also proves that the Apocrypha is a part of the scriptures. All right? The scripture says that none shall want her, shall want her mate. So if there's a mate, if there's an a, a, a agreement, that means that it's been ordained by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? That means that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai inspired those men to write those books in the Apocrypha. It says, I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no foundation of abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I brought forth. While, I, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, right? Before there was any earth, before there was any water, okay? Before, before there was any mountains, okay? nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass or a compass upon the face of the depth, okay, that cuts that flat earth too, right? It says, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the foundations of the depth, when he gave the sea to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him, as one brought up with him, and I and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of the of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. That's right, because when you go into that, it says the sons of Adam. Okay. All right, and then you know that's another topic. You know, that branches off, but, you know, essentially, I just want to hit the point to show that what the sons of the sons, basically, <laughs> you know, who we know as the sons of Adam were there prior to the earth being formed, which are, 
those same spirits coming back today to prophesy and bring forth that same wisdom that was bestowed upon them by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Before the earth was formed, okay? All right? Now, last one I want to get. This is First Peter. No, no, no. First Peter chapter 1, verse 2. I'm going to start at 1. First Peter 1 and 1. Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, Amashiach to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. And it's the same thing today, man. You have strangers within the, within the four corners of the earth. Okay? But they're, they're, being, they're, they're being called unto this word through the wisdom. Okay? Through that same knowledge that was bestowed unto them before the earth was formed. It says, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High the Father. Through sanctification of the spirit. Now let's go into that word foreknowledge real quick. The word there is prognosis. Okay, foreknowledge, forethought, prearrangement, and that goes into that word world as well. That orderly arrangement, the cosmos in John three sixteen in John the seventeenth chapter. That's who that world is talking about. Okay, that pre-arrangement, all right, so let's go back, it says elect according to the foreknowledge, according to the pre-arrangement, what is foreknowledge, the, the knowledge that has been bestowed aforetime of the Father, of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Hamashiach Yahushai, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. And that's the point. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom I learned from. And Shalom to the elect. Like always, I'm going to give a little slack for the end of this video so it doesn't cut off short. Hey, Shalom.